Hi Steven and greetings to all the Hackaday members who are watching this. I decided to build a brand box as a response to some situations I encountered here in Papua New Guinea. I had the possibility to travel in the remote villages of this country out there in the bush and people don't have anything there. They don't have electricity, they don't have access to communication or news, they don't have access to education. Sometimes they don't even have clean water for drinking and they struggle with all these problems. Sometimes they buy some cheap or used solar panels from the local bazaars and open markets they may have around and they try to build up some better living conditions. Only they don't have money to buy a good battery or a decent solar charger. They just hook up the wires of the solar panel directly to the leads of an old truck battery. Many times they connect the battery like this in the morning and who knows if they hook it up the right way or in reverse and they go out in their gardens or they go hunting in the bush and when they come back in the afternoon they find their houses or maybe I should say they don't find their houses anymore burned to the ground. We tried to explain several times to these guys that they actually need like an electronic box between the solar panels and the battery and this box is called solar charger or solar regulator but even if they understand this they cannot afford to buy a decent $300 solar charger. The sad reality is that most of them are living with less than $2 a day. Another paradox is that PNG has mobile, mobile phone signal coverage in many remote areas. The government thought probably that this is a step forward to have this infrastructure and now the trouble is that they could buy a cheap used mobile phone from the closest open market with like ten dollars and they actually do buy them but they cannot charge them and the mobile phone can be a good thing in these situations here it provides communication first of all and medical advices in those remote areas, you know, if they have a medical problem, they can call the emergency number at least for an advice. It provides access to a little bit of education. Nowadays, there are English learning apps, there are reading apps, ebooks, and um, the best thing of all, I think, the mobile phone can be used as a flashlight. I mean, without even having an external battery set, um, you just put the solar panel on your roof, you store the energy inside your mobile phone and then during the afternoon hours you can use your mobile phone as a lantern. This of course eliminates the risk of fires and um, you just hook up the phone directly to the solar panel no solar charger no battery no inverter no extra phone adapter just connect the phone to the solar panel safely yes in what comes the design i decided to go with the um, lm2596 it is a buck converter chip from texas instruments very low price and reliable it is a simple design, but it will work just fine with what I plan to build. And, and then I plan to add a 3D printed enclosure, um, at least for the first dozens of uh, brine boxes. I think instead of using some input connectors, I will just use some clip leads, some alligator clip leads. Um, out there in the villages they don't have some standard type of solar panels or solar panel connectors and they will just have 
loose wires um, uh, and they will just connect those wires to the car battery as I was saying so there's no point um, in placing some fancy connector there and of course in the um, output I'm gonna have an USB connector, a double USB connector and since I have the um, um, clip leads I will probably have to have a reverse polarity protection so another good thing about the clip leads is that the device can be hooked up to basically every kind of power source one may have out there in the village so if they have an old used battery that um, provides some energy they just can they can connect these clip leads to that battery or if someone buys a 9 volt battery from the market uh, then they can charge their mobile phone using this device this Brian box like I said on my projects page um, having the blueprints uh, made public on Hackaday's page it's already a winning ticket um, many open source ideas like that came to be implemented um, you know someone publishes some open source plans for an ESR tester for a um, capacimeter for a multimeter um, online and all of the sudden everyone loves the design uh, several months later you can actually buy a similar prototype from eBay or from some Eastern markets and this is a major contribution to society in my opinion I just love the idea of having the Hackaday space like an old Greek arena where everybody comes with ideas, comments, conclusions and I like the idea of the Hackaday Prize too. Challenges always motivate people. It's really motivating for me too to join a contest like this and have some certain limits, some certain deadlines and to uh, come with creative new ideas that I know that are not going to be used by myself in the end but by others. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you want to find more details about my project and if you want to uh, be kept up to date with the um, things I'm posting there, don't forget to subscribe to my projects page.